today's video. Um, I put the horse sale all by myself because I offered to do it. And there they are, way up there by the road. I put it all the way down there. Two of them in the shade. They must be feeling hot. Actually, it's sunny there. And then Willow way down there. Good morning guys, welcome to today. It is actually, it's actually getting kind of warm outside today. Actually it is warm outside today. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. So this is the hair moisturizer. It's concentrate. So you add water to it that we use for our horse's hair. And we use this a lot. So I wanna bring that to the barn with me. I have some dewormer for chance. And I have something else I wanted to bring for Chance and I can't find it anywhere. And I know I have like a bunch of it left. Oh my goodness. Did I just find it? So this is the special formula stuff that I've talked about before on our channel. They did discontinued it. It has a steroid in it, which is why it works so well for horses feet. These are the bottles that we keep the, um, pink stuff in. I absolutely love that stuff for their tail, the conditioner, because it works just as good as, what's the other one that we use that is, you don't spray it in, you rub it in. I forget the name of it, but there's another one that's really good, but this one works just as good and it smells fantastic. So I'm gonna bring it to the barn and also the special formula that was discontinued that has the steroid in it. Chance's feet are okay, but like I said, we've been being like super proactive and what the heck? Not like the sound of the pitter patter of galloping hooves when I'm turned around. <laughs> she doesn't like you. Is that what that was? <laughs> oh, Penny. You guys have noticed maybe that Penny doesn't like many people. She likes me and Sophie. Are you ready? <laughs> Hi, it's me. It's true. I didn't come to get you in the rain yesterday because I'm not a rain girl. You ready to go? You got dirt everywhere. Yeah, I know. Do you guys know that when I get Penny out of the field, I wait till she lifts her head up to me. Like mm, That's why you stood there for me to pet you. Why? Big horse fly. Huh? Yeah, she doesn't like bugs. I know. So, yeah, let's go. We're late. Let's go. We're in such a hurry, I can't even remember what I've told you guys. So, one, we're taking all this stuff to the barn. Two, um, Chance's feet are fine, but we're being proactive, so I like to make sure that any bacteria and stuff that's on him and Gino, we're doing both of them. I locked the door, you can't go to the bathroom. <laughs> anyway, we're late because we're racing to the barn for something so fun, something we've done before. A lot of you guys have asked us lately, hey, can you guys do this? And you bet you we can. We set it up today. We're doing something super Why fun. Because you oh, you're in my way. <laughs> Essentially, we are racing to the barn to do something fun. Gabby's be looking cute. Sophie be looking cute. Everybody have everything? You got your show jacket? Okay, all right. Let's go and we'll meet you guys there and explain everything. You know how they say that the sun is always nicer after the rain? Man, the sun seems so nice today. Sophie's in the bathroom. I love a Sophie's outfit today, you guys. It's outfit number one for today. I'm gonna to show it to you guys. So this is it, turn to the side. I love it. It's gray and pink and she never wears that color combination. Almost got her boots done up. What did you catch? A frog. <laughs> it's a green, <laughs> a slimy green one. Oh, that is it's gross. It's so cute, first frog of the year. First frog of the year. Do you guys remember? Oh, great, don't get yourself dirty. <laughs> Oops. Oops, don't get your clothes dirty. Oh, Good froggy. Yeah, you shouldn't touch him though. I was walking and I hopped away. Well, you shouldn't touch him. Well. Put him late. down. Okay, I'll put him back. Let him get away. I'm waiting for Gabby so I can tell her what we're doing. Oh, I forgot to get the grain. I brought all new grain. I literally forgot to bring the bucket of, the, the wagon of grain and beet pulp and supplements and stuff that I brought. And we didn't wait for Gabby. Start number two. Thank you, Gabby. Gabby had to move the car ahead to... It, it rained here yesterday too. Who met us at the gate? Hello. How are you today? He's like, I'm kind of bored. It rained all day yesterday and nobody came to see me. But I see you're nice and clean. That's his best friend. Name that horse his best friend. I'm gonna move this out of the way because I don't want to forget our bug spray either, but I don't want, I don't want Chance to come out here and be like, ah, there's a wagon. But Storm's like, I'll hold it. 
Hi, big guy. So it's true that storm's best friend. I gotta strip off my sweater. Yesterday it was so cold we couldn't even like, hardly handle life. Couldn't even go outside and then today, it's so hot. There's this like, area. <laughs> the horses yeah, know. Oh, oh, there's the baby. She does this thing where, I know, she just loves me. That, that little baby that we, that we brought out of our horse's field that day she jumped in it. She's just gonna be a pony, I think. She's small, she's a year old and she's tiny still. And anyways, she loves me. Like, as soon as she sees me, she comes running because I brush her all the time. But anyway, so there's this like little area behind us where um, horses can go, like, horses can just go there. And it's the walkway to get our horse out of the field. So Sophie locks every horse up before she brings her horse. This horse just walked to her. He was far from, from her and he just walked all the way over to. So somebody I was talking to today said that when her horse eats a lot of grass, it could, he's really tired by the middle of the day. But let's just hope that Chance coming to Sophie today was an idea of him being excited to ride. Yeah. So then after Sophie gets the horse, oh great, I wore sandals and I'm walking in mud because it rained. Um, I go along and I open all the gates so that all the horses could come out. Yeah, that's how it works. And then there's Gabby who's just out there getting her own horse from its own field, doing its own thing, doing her own thing, not worrying about anything, just her and her boy. All right, everyone's been let free, but none of them rushed. But now when they see Sophie, the other horses, they all run to their prospective places. <laughs> they just walk there. Unfortunately, now my feet are really disgusting and we have a guest coming. Don't forget to name Storm's best friend. You guys have seen him have a few best friends over the years. Finn and Chino. So uh, the craziest thing happened to me today, besides getting mud in my feet. Gabby, look at my feet. You got both of your boys in? Oh, okay, awesome. Awesome. So a year ago I got a message from uh, this young girl. She was really sweet and really kind and I talked to her and I, you know, was kind back to her. No, she didn't stab me in the back. Sophie's like, I know where this is going. She stabbed you in the back. So I got a message again from her today and she told me that a year ago I was the first person that ever truly was kind to her. Like truly oh, kind to her. And now her life has changed so much. She's surrounded by people who are kind to her. She was strong enough because of my kindness to make so many changes in her life. And she has support and help and is the happiest she's ever been. And I almost teared up when I heard that because if being kind to someone just one time can have that dramatic of an effect on somebody else's life. Imagine the effect being mean just one time can have on somebody else's life. Um, it was so overwhelming and powerful for me to realize that, like how one kind deed changed someone's whole entire life. Imagine how it could change someone's life with one mean, comment like one unkind thing so so grateful i was kind to her back then and i want to keep trying to be kind always every single day i wake up and i say today's the day i'm only going to be kind i've never accomplished it completely yet i'm going to start again tomorrow <laughs> you want to know what chance is really good at what is he really good at his head there's nothing for him to hit his head on and he does oh why is he doing that i don't know he oh. always does every single time in the exact exact same spot well he's a baby he's a baby and yeah, that's what babies do anyways welcome to today's video we have a special guest coming some of you guys know her some of you guys don't my head doesn't even hurt when it gets hit do you hit your head on everything yes oh yeah you have my jeans <laughs> all right let's get ready we got to get ready we got to be all beautiful and amazing can you throw my horse's feet because they're good uh, you yeah all right, let's do it. We're gonna put this camera down and we're gonna You're clean gonna our have horses. Chance to I throw water on his feet. Yeah, we can. Because I oh, it's wet mud and feet. feet. All right, well let's do it. You guys know we have dirty horses that we have to clean before our friend arrives. So we wash his feet in the water. I have so Grayfin, I still call him Grayfin because I can't get out of the habit. Um, so we tried putting water on his feet 
He did not like it. He did not stand. And then I put water on Chance's feet, and he stood there like, oh, yes, keep doing it. Yeah, like huge water buckets filled of water, throwing it all over his Finn feet. Finn acts like five-year-old. Yeah. The number one question that people ask us every single day, like 100,000 times a day, is when are you gonna change your intro? So today, we're working on our intro change. We have different horses, and it's time, you guys. I know it's time. It's just been hard figuring out what we're gonna do and how we're gonna do it. So today, we are meeting up with our amazing photographer friend. You guys know her. Her name is Michaela. She runs Sun Kissed Media. Follow her on Instagram. She's one of the few photographers that shoot at the at Champs and at Wesley Culver Park and all the sanction shows. When we met her, I think she was 17, started her own business, is so incredibly gifted, and runs her own business and just, so now she's like 19 or 20. A lot older now and her pictures just keep getting better and better and better. We're so excited to have her coming. I'm excited that she's our friend, that she's amazing and that she takes pictures for us because they're always stunning and amazing and beautiful. So, just, so today is our photo shoot to start the process of making a new intro for you guys. So he actually does keep himself pretty clean. He's flea bitten. Gabby's using that amazing spray that we got to All over his face. And... Yeah, you're dirty a little. Let's see, first time chance a with a spray bottle. Well, he's scared of that. Is he scared of this? The normal look he gives everything. Yeah, that's what he does. Okay, get spray in the All right. Oh, do it, he says. Please, spray me, spray me. He loves anything done with his bum. I said he doesn't like it. See? <laughs> he's giving me the desk. No, he's smelling it. Ew, what is that stink? It doesn't smell bad. So he does have all this like regrowth on his mane and it's getting like long fast. Yeah, I love that. It's when we, gonna get thicker. Yeah, I mean his mane is not unthick. He's really loving like he's, but see how he's always sneaking around a door. He always like puts his head around a door first to see what's happening and then he comes out. But he's so loving like he just snuggles all the time. Like just, just rub me please. He lets me play with his mouth. Mm -hmm. He doesn't care about anything. Does he have a tattoo? Uh, he probably has a tattoo. Well, let's check. Yeah, some people are some people some people are worried about the tight throat latches. I want to show you guys something. So when the horse is standing, the throat latch just falls forward. I feel confident it does that with every horse because it does it with all of our horses. Chino, let me show them. But if you put the throat latch back where it goes. She actually has it really loose. And it's been the same forever, but it's just a misconception that happens with the camera. People see the, the throat latch fall forward because it's loose. And then they say it's tight. I don't know if the pink is so good with the red. Yeah. She brought her show clothes that she, she can change into. This is behind the scenes of our photo shoot. Yeah, nice white flower. I love it. I think she should put on her show clothes because she wore this pink outfit, but we weren't thinking about how like pink is going to look beside a chestnut. Michaela, what do you think of the new horse? He's so loving. He's so loving. She walked in and he tucked his head right into her. moving change in spots look at how good he looks so all the horses were not happy out there well actually they were happy but they were all wanting to eat grass so now we're moving we're moving to a non grassy area Any photos taken is probably one of my favorite things ever of life like I love our photographer like 
she is such become such a friend and been so kind and just so relatable and like I love her and she's so open and she's like you know how when you have like when you're working with somebody and then they they just make it seem easier like everything seem easier like she just has such good ideas and anyway, I love her if you guys are in the area looking for professional photos check her out sun kiss media <laughs> chance is like whoa I've never seen this area before do you want your show jacket Gino's like wow look at all these horses <laughs> He looks so good though. What? Yeah, he's actually chewing the bit. Oh my gosh, she has green lips now. That was a bad choice. Yeah, I told you not to let me the grass. <laughs> yeah, she did. You also let me the grass and he's gonna want to eat it more. Yeah. He still has these little light tufts of hair that haven't come out yet. They're all gonna have green lips, but what can you do? Make sure you stop hiding your face. So that's the first time that that pony's ever said anything since we've been here. Like that because it's starting to finally feel good. <laughs> Without blocking your face. He's like, I'm the first <laughs> He's actually the boss of his paddock. So uh, there's been a casualty. <laughs> that's disgusting. A casualty of our photo shoot. Oh, it's on me. <laughs> Gosh. All right, this is gonna be stunning. Absolutely stunning with the beautiful black fence in the background. Like I can't wait to see what I come up with. So the problem is gonna be that we're not taking pictures of all of our horses, just the girls. So I think we're gonna probably end up changing the, yeah, just the, uh, like Gabby and Sophie and their horses. So we're probably gonna end up changing the intro and not put everybody in it. So new people will just get a big surprise when they arrive at our channel. All right, now we can't even see Sophie and Chance. There they come. That is stunning, you guys. So nice. All right, so there's Gabby and Finn. Why does my horse take photos? <laughs> Was your horse bad for them? Yeah, look, I have slobber all over me. <laughs> so he has a slow slobber everywhere. <laughs> He's like, let me just slobber on you. He's looking good though. I love it. That's such a gorgeous tree. Switching over. Thank goodness our photographer brings helpers. <laughs> I'm gonna stand him over here So we asked the owner of this barn if we could use their willow tree. And she said absolutely. I said we pick up any poo. Is there any poo? <laughs> Chino just lifted his head right up into the branches and it was so cute and he didn't even care. I'll just eat the grass. The grass is hard. And then we'll be done. Was he good? Oh, well, he did not eat the grass. <laughs> yeah, that's what he does. Yeah, did not want to stand Sophie's like, oh man, I do not want to take care of a baby horse. Aw, he loves her. It's good to have chickens because Finn used to be afraid of chickens because they used to chase him around the field. Right. It's gonna be a fast one. <laughs> Poor Gabby, she's just like <laughs> Let me smell your ear. Quick smile, everybody smile! Cheese! Yay! <laughs> They're all like just like go on me. Grayfin did his photo shoot, then ran out there and got filthy dirty. He's like, you will never make me clean. What a disaster. Oh, what is it? Oh, these are your cookies that you had made? Yeah. So they're sure. for horses? Yeah. By, by Main Delights. This is one of our favorite companies ever. And she made, wow, she can make that for your business? Yeah, they were for the Ottawa Welcome and I had some other places to come and bring them some treats. Oh my God, they smell delicious. 
Mm, they taste good. They taste good, I know. <laughs> I ate the last cookies that, that somebody sent us. Wow, that is stunning. You, She is amazing. Okay, this is awesome. Yeah. So Sunkiss Media yes. is the photographer and then uh, Main Delights made these cookies and I think that's really cool because these cookies you could give out at horse shows with your with your horse with your barn name on it that I don't even want to give these to our horses <laughs> Don't you know that